you're looking at my sales and profit report opened up in report view and down below you can see my records are grouped by book title here for example the 101 pizza combinations over here has the clients who purchased that book now before I print this off I want to be able to take a look at it and print preview because what I see in that view is what's going to be coming off of my printer I mean in report view it doesn't tell me how many pages there are it just gives me it all in one report view so what I need to do is find a blank area here and right click and go down to print preview now if you don't have a blank area you can always come and right click on the tab itself and go down to print preview how many pages well if I come down here to the navigation page bar I can click and go to the next page or just click on the last page button and you can see I have a total of four pages next I'm looking at the top of page four and I don't know the book that these clients have purchased it looks like it's breaking the group apart so if I print this off and hand it to somebody and they go well what books did these clients purchase they'd have to flip the page back to page three and scroll down to the bottom well at least in print preview here and notice that it's stress free equals fat free you see how it started here and then it had too many records so it just dumped it on the top of page four to keep this from happening I'm gonna apply the keep groups together feature but before I do that I want to make sure my records are as tight as they can be because I don't want to waste paper here in other words you see the white spacing in between these records I can tighten that up a bit now it probably won't make much of a difference with four pages of records but if I had hundreds or even thousands of pages that could save quite a few sheets of paper so I'm gonna go ahead and right click anywhere within my print preview and change it to design view and I'm looking in the details section because that's where my fields are at and you can see the little white space just above each one of these fields that's the spacing in between each record if I can eliminate that then I will cut down hopefully on my pages or printable pages to prove my point here what I'm gonna do is create a, even a bigger gap or spacing between my records by opening up the details section a bit wider here and to do that I can hover over the bar below the detail bar here which is called the book title footer when I hover over it my pointer turns into two arrows pointing in opposite directions just click and drag to push that book title footer down below and to give me more spacing within the details section now watch what happens when I come up here and I change my views to print preview and I click on it to zoom out I mean look at all that white spacing that gap between each record so when I click on the last page button I have now 10 pages so the whole point being is before I say keep groups together I like to also tighten those records together so I don't have to print off as many pages but then again maybe the layout all that spacing works for you because maybe you're doing a presentation and you want to be able to allow people to write notes in between your records here in any case I want to keep mine tight so I can just right click and change this back to design view and I want to be able to take these fields and push them right up next or against the detail bar so there's no spacing above each record and then of course close the gap between the book title footer and the field so there's no spacing below so first of all I need to select all these fields here by either shift clicking on them or let me click off in a blank area click and drag and cut a line through them all and let go and it selects all of them or click off in a blank area you can hover over in the vertical ruler and when you get a black arrow when you click on that arrow you want to position it so it cuts a line between all those text boxes that you want to select and then let go and it selects them okay instead of clicking and dragging and using my mouse I'm gonna use the arrow keys and nudge them up until they're right up against the detail bar here then come down below my pointer turns into a two-way arrow up and down over the book title footer bar click and drag that and scrunch it right up tight so I absolutely have little spacing if any at all between each record so when I change my view to print preview click on it to zoom in maybe it didn't look like much of a change but believe me there was a little bit of a change here next I want to be able to keep my groups together so I want to right click and go back to the design view now remember my records are grouped by book title so I'm gonna come up here go to the design tab to the grouping and tools group click on the group and sort opens up the pane down below and you can see it's grouped by book title well I want more options on the uh, grouping of book titles because the default right now says don't keep this group together well if I click on the drop down arrow I get two additional options I can keep the whole group together on one page in other words if it's splitting at the bottom of one page the top of another it'll either try to cram it all at the bottom of that page or put all the records at the top of another page or the other one is keep header and first record together on one page so if it's splitting again like let's say at the bottom of a page it'll have the group header and it have at least one record below it and then it will dump the rest on the next page at the top of the next page 
I want to keep them all together, which means I may have more than four pages. It just depends on how much spacing that it can't fit on one page that's splitting, that it has to push all the other records down one or across you know, more than four pages. So keep them all together on one page. Looks good to me. Go ahead and change my views to print preview. Let's go to the last page. Let's see how far it bumped. Well, it looked like it was able to keep it all within four pages, but at the top of the fourth page, there we go. Instead of splitting it at the bottom of page three and the top of page four, it kept the stress-free equals fat-free book at the top of page four, mission accomplished. However, what is it going to look like if I go back to the bottom of page three, scroll down, I'll have some extra white space between that, but at least it's not confusing. You hear a bunch of rustling of paper if you're given a presentation of people flipping between pages trying to identify what group belongs to the group heading here, or the book title in this case.